Hajara's daughter is just one month old, but a shortage of milk in the early days of her life left her critically ill. At birth she wouldn't feed, and there was no more milk, so we had nothing. She wouldn't stop crying. Babies arriving at this hospital in Niger's capital Niamey with acute malnutrition are given an emergency dose of glucose solution to restore blood sugar levels and ultimately save the child's life. It's estimated that this year one million children in Niger, which remains one of the least developed countries in the world, will be affected by the condition. The result of a deadly mix of food scarcity, poor hygiene, and ignorance surrounding nutrition and the importance of exclusive breastfeeding. Mothers don't know at what age they should wean their children. According to our customs, as soon as a woman falls pregnant and if she then breastfeeds, the grandmothers come and grab the little ones to be with them. That's a major cause of malnutrition. It's above all ignorance. Niger has the fastest growing population on the planet, due to double its current 17 million in just 18 years. For those looking to combat malnutrition, this also means a massive scaling up of medical centers and education programs. With this growth, we'll have an impossible situation on our hands if we limit ourselves to treatment alone. For a while, we've been putting more emphasis on prevention as well as treatment. This means education and the changing of bad habits that have been passed down the generations. Aishita's 16-month-old has been receiving a nutritional supplement for three weeks now and is out of danger. The day I first brought him here, he was ill. I went to buy medicine on the street and then took him to hospital. They cared for him and thanks to God, he's better. He's put on weight. With fighting against Boko Haram insurgents on its eastern border and a demographic time bomb ticking within, health workers know that they're engaged in a race against the clock to save Niger's most vulnerable.